Hi everyone, welcome to Crossroads Students. My name is Emily. This message you're gonna hear from a student who might be your age, a high schooler who has experienced God moving their life drastically. And I just challenge you to put aside your distractions for just a minute because you could lean in, see what God has for you, and walk away with something new. What is up, Crossroads Students? I am so excited to be with you guys tonight. If we haven't met, my name is Izzy, and I am from the east side. I am a senior, and I love Crossroads, and I love all of the things that we do here. So today, to start off, I have a question. Charlie just talked to you guys and asked if there's any athletes in the room, and I saw a lot of hands, but I want to know who would consider gymnastics a uh, sport. Okay, okay. I'm in good company, I see. Great. Well, I was a gymnast several years ago, and things didn't always go so well. Um, one day, I walked into practice, and my coach came up to me, and she said, Izzy, at the end of the day today, you are going to do a back tuck, which is a backflip, off of the trampoline. And I said, no way. I am not doing that. I am terrified of flipping backwards. You are not convincing me to do that. And so I walked away from this conversation. And then I thought, wait a minute. If I did this, could I become her favorite student? And so I go back up to her and I say, OK, I'll do it. And I hopped on that trampoline, and I started to bounce, and then I started to flip. And you know what happened? I landed flat on my face and had a giant rug burn all over my nose for the next two weeks. It was really quite lovely. And what that taught me was that maybe my coach wasn't the most trustworthy person. She didn't catch me when I fell. And it was quite embarrassing. I had to go to school the next day and had a lot of questions about what was going on on my face. So, I say all this to say that there's a lot of people we trust in our life, and some of those people are our friends or coaches, and in fact, a lot of the times I think we trust in our friends. We have a lot of fun experiences with our friends. Last summer I went cliff jumping with my friends. Anybody ever done that? It's a little scary. I had to trust in my friends that I wasn't going to die. And maybe we just go get ice cream or go to a movie, all the fun things. And we have these fun times. But then we also have times where we're going through difficult things in our life. And we have hard conversations about the thing that's going on at home or the job that we're upset that we didn't get. And those are hard conversations. And I found myself a few months ago going to my friends. A lot of the time, I was angry at someone. I was disappointed that I didn't get a job that I wanted. I was sad because there was so much going on that I was overwhelmed with. And I was going to my friends, and I was hoping that they could give me something, that they could give me this magical piece of advice that would fix all of my problems. And you know what happened after those conversations? I didn't have a magic fix. And most of the time, I actually came out of those conversations more angry, more sad, more overwhelmed, and even a little bit bitter because they didn't give me the thing that I wanted. So, I found out after this, I really couldn't trust in my friends because they weren't giving me what I needed. I couldn't trust my coach because she let me fall on my face and get a giant rug burn that I had to go to school with. And I didn't know who I could trust. So one day, I was sitting in my room and I decided to pick up my Bible. And I read this verse. It is Psalms 142, verse 5, I believe. And it says, Then I pray to you, O Lord. I say, You are my refuge. You are all I really want in life. Hear my cry, for I am very low. 
And I read that verse, and I identified with it. I said, I am very low, actually. And I'm not getting this magic fix that I wanted. But this verse also tells me that you are my refuge. And that's talking about God, if you did not know. And so I started to think, maybe I should give this a shot. Maybe if I took all of these problems that I was experiencing in life, the hard conversations that I was having, and I told God about them, maybe, just maybe, he would show up for me. And so that night I made a decision. I sat down in my room, and I opened up my prayer journal, and I started to write. And it was the most honest prayer I have ever prayed. It told all of the hard things, and it didn't sound pretty. But I left that conversation. How do you think I felt? I felt peace. I felt relieved. And then I went to bed, and I slept like a baby, and I woke up the next morning with joy. I went and hung out with my friends, and instead of feeling like I needed to have a hard conversation, I felt like I could just let loose and have fun with them. And I want to read another voice, verse to you guys. It's Psalms 55, 22. And it says, Cast your burden on the Lord, for he will sustain you. We all have burdens. Every single person who came into this room, I believe, has a burden, something that's maybe heavy on your heart right now. And we all have to choose what we're going to turn to when those burdens get too much to bear. I think a lot of us in this room, maybe like me, turn to a friend and try to get the advice that we want. Or maybe it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Maybe it's a substance that you turn to because you just need to get out of that headspace. Or maybe you just start to fold in on yourself because there's nowhere else you can go. And I wanna say, I understand and I feel you, and I've been there. And when I was there, the only thing that helped me out was to talk to God and to be honest with him. So I think that these fixes can work. They can work for a little bit. They'll work for a minute or a day or a few days, maybe even weeks. But you'll get to a point where you need something more. And I'm telling you tonight that I think that more is Jesus. So my encouragement for you tonight, or today, is to give it to God. Just talk honestly to him and give him all the things that are on your heart. Let me pray for you. God, I thank you for all the students in this room and across all of our sites. I pray that something that me or one of my friends who have talked is saying would just reach their hearts and that you would just encourage them and lift them up with this. I pray that they would get honest with you today, and I pray that that would bring them life and light and joy and peace and the fullness of you. And it's in your name I pray, amen. All right, thanks for watching. If you like what you heard, we have more content for you on our YouTube channel if you wanna subscribe, and make sure to check us out on Instagram for everything that's coming up.